SP Automotive might be the new name on the scene, but the man behind anything is this Greek drag racing tuner named Spiros Panopoulos. Has ideas for a very innovative and incredibly fast future. And he's now ready to share a glimpse of this world to us. And boy, oh boy, does this look fantastic, folks. I mean, take a look at this. This is drop dead gorgeous. Now, if you can't afford the Chaos Ultra car, then also the Xeon Hydrogen Powered Supercar. Now, some hours ago, SP Automotive, formerly Spiros Panopolis, introduced Chaos the $14 million ultra car that has developed over 3,000 horsepower and 1,463, I can't believe I said this, pound, foot pounds of torque and something called Xeno Gravity Mode. Chaos is going to become the world's f fastest production car. It will only be made in a very limited number. The answer is obvious. You know... Can they really do this with electrified cars getting crazy speed, speed numbers such as the Tesla Model S Plaid? Are they behind? Uh, you can't do this with a combustion engine. You can't, go, you, can't you're, you, you can't beat an electric engine, hands down. I don't care how hard you work. But let's get back. Now, the SB Automotive has a couple of other vehicles in the pipeline. Now, the second is performance and the way it look. I mean, this is just epic what we've seen here. The supercar called Zion, a fuel cell vehicle that assists five people without losing any of the appeal. Now Zion is pure luxury, tamer than the chaos, but still exclusive looking, enough to appeal to a will, will cut, will, um, a lot of customers, you could say that. This is epic, though. I love this. I mean, take a look at this. And let's... I mean, check it out. 23, 23 years of innovation. Spirals Propulsion. Our Papopolis is a pioneer in the automotive industry with a rich bio full of success and world record holder, an automotive innovator, and producer of the most efficient combustion engine on the planet, an inventor of anadoplasis, whatever that means. 23 years of experience and vision of a high performance manufacturing industrial unit. Chaos. I mean, this looks epic, folks. Straight up epic. Let's check out the presentation. So what is the Ultra Car? Now what if someone told you that you could move from one place to another with a vehicle that accelerates like an F1? Now what if someone told you that there is a vehicle that feels the driver, recognizes his mood, and ability and change character and driving behavior accordingly. What if someone told you that there was a vehicle that could do 0 to 100, 0 to 200, and 0 to 300 kilometers faster than an F1 car? What if someone told you that there was a vehicle featuring the best aerodynamic design ever applied to a car? A lot of what ifs. But this is the side view of it. And this looks epic, folks. Wow. Phenomena. The ultra car cause mogany. Look at the different views of it. I mean, that front end just looks like something out of a movie. Boy, the, I mean, it looks epic. And look at the uh, ground clearance. That You can't drive that on the street that low. But boy, oh boy, does it give you, does it give you something that big? I mean, it gives you a feeling like no other. It's still fantastic. 
Max power, as you can see, 2048.7 horsepower. And then it gets even more. Top speed, 310 miles per hour. Wow. Acceleration. The details. Fingerprint rec recognition. 3D printed wheels. Augmented reality. Wow. I can't think of this being really made yet. I'm thinking that this must be in production. Because these pictures don't do it. I mean, you really, not really seeing, but this is what turbo carbon, titanium wishbone, 3D printed wheels, like we said earlier. Wow, this is phenomenal. Details. And this is just the engineering, as you can see, is still epic. Pistons. Oh, this is phenomenal. Parts being made. Turbochargers. Body and chassis. Aerodynamics. This is speechless, folks. Straight out speechless. The bottom, the aerodynamics again. The exhaust. Steering system. I mean, the exhaust boy, man. Boy, don't that look like something. Wow. The wheels. The interior. The 3D painted titanium steering wheel. And the titanium paddles. Uh, I think this this is phenomenal. Augmented reality. This is why it's projecting it onto the Mazda. Sort of I, earlier, I did a video on this and said Mazda was making this, but no, they already have it. I mean, it's not out yet. This is all just. These are all basically just renderings. I mean, the vehicle's made, but I don't think all of this is functioning yet because this is not a real vehicle. I mean, what we see is a shell, but what we don't hear, we don't hear it starting. So this is all like, you know, this is all like drawings and animations. But boy, oh boy. I tell you, they seem to be working in the right direction and all of this is going to come too. And boy, does it look epic. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe and have an awesome day. This is fantastic. I mean, just look at that. This is speechless. Man. Fourteen million dollars. Phenomenal. A Automotive Reviews. Like, share, and subscribe. 
to say automotive reviews thanks for watching sharing and subscribing and have an awesome and fantastic day much love and again thanks for coming by